Hey kids, it's Pastor Austin and Mr. Brandon here with this week's Big Trip. So welcome back to our uh, another edition of our Kids Guide as we're in our series of Redemption, right? And so also for you guys that are in third, third, fourth, and fifth grade, we're talking about eternity. So where do we see eternity in our Big Truth and our Bible verse and our Bible story for each week? So we've got another Big Truth for you guys this week. Are you ready? The Big Truth this week is that Jesus undeservedly takes our place. Jesus undeservedly takes our place. So quick time out. So real quick at home, I want you to say the word undeservedly three times really fast. Ready? Go. All right, how'd you guys do? So if you're like me, that, that that's a little bit of a tricky word and maybe your tongue is a little tired right now. And that's okay because we are going to talk about what does that mean that Jesus undeservedly took our place. So no fear, we will unpack that big truth here on, on this week's guide. So let's look at our Bible verse, Romans 5, 8. That's where our big truth comes from. Romans 5, 8. And again, I want you guys to listen. Do you hear our big truth? Now, I can probably tell you that you're not going to hear the word undeservedly in this verse. But I want you to think about where is the big truth in this verse, because it's definitely there. So Romans 5, 8 says this, but God shows his love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let me read that again. Again, I want you to think about why is our big truth Jesus undeservedly, didn't deserve this, undeservedly took our place. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. So that's our Bible verse for this week. So what that means is that we are sinners, right? And we know from Scripture that the punishment for sin is death. So we deserve the punishment of death because of our sin. And that's what Romans 5, 8 says, that while we were still sinners, while we were still ones who, who deserved to take the punishment of death, Jesus took our place. And so that's why our big truth is Jesus undeservedly took our place because Jesus was holy. He was perfect. He was the perfect Lamb of God sent to take away the sins of the world. He didn't deserve that, right? But he willingly laid down his life so that we sinners could have life, right? Could have eternal life. So there's eternity there. So great big truth for this week. And Mr. Brandon is going to give us a home hook and also sort of unpack our Bible story for this week that ties all of that together. Yeah, so our Bible story this week is comes from the book of Philemon. Uh, now I know you're thinking that's a lot of reading this week to read an entire book of the Bible. But really it's just one chapter, 25 verses. I think you guys can do it. Um, but the book of Philemon is a letter from Paul to Philemon and the church. And Paul's making request of the church to take in Onesimus, who is um, he's a disciple of Paul. And um, as, as you read through this story, you're going you're gonna to figure out some big ideas there of how you're probably going to hear the words uh, debt and pay the debt, you know, those kind of things. And that's your, that's your challenge for this week. So what I need you to do is go to our resources page, and I need you to print out this piece of paper right here. And as you read through this story together as a family, I want you to make a list of some of the big ideas that you, um, that you pull from this story. And once you've got that done, kids, I want you to make a comic strip of, of, of how this story plays out. The conversation, you know, that you think would happen between Paul and Philemon if they were together when they were having this conversation. When you're finished with that, I want you to take those big ideas and kind of compare them to what we're talking about this week of how Jesus undeservedly takes our place or Jesus pays our debt. Um, and you're going to see, you know, you're going to see some contrast, some some comparisons there of how uh, Paul is offering to pay the debt that Onesimus might owe, uh, just like Jesus pays our debt through His perfect life and His death on the cross. Yeah, that's awesome. So you guys have got a lot of things to kind of do together. Um, to really unpack that big truth that Jesus undeservedly took our place. And hey, you get to read a whole book of the Bible yeah. this week, right? That's a big deal. Um, so really, but hopefully you guys have a great week uh, discussing that. And what does that look like that Jesus undeservedly took? And you can even personalize it, my place. Jesus undeservedly took my place. And so our prayer for, for you guys 
um, is that have, have you really come to a place where you have put faith in that, that you have repented of your sin and you have placed saving faith in Jesus Christ because he undeservedly took your place and my place on the cross. So that's our prayer for you guys this week as well. So, hey, we hope that you guys have a great week this week talking through that, and we'll see you right back here next week. Have a great week, guys.